You're his mother, I'm assuming. Yes, yes, I'm his mother. P please, just tell me anything. Uh, well, your son went through a tremendous trauma, and um, the bullet was only four centimeters away from a major artery. That's what saved his life. We were able to retract the bullet, but there were some unexpected complications. And, and now he's a vegetable. Sarah! Don't say that! No, he's not a vegetable, but these monitors are what are keeping him alive. So, so what, what's next? I mean, what do we do? Unfortunately, this is all we can do at this time. So what, we just wait for him to wake up? That is the best case scenario, yes. So, you're saying that he might not wake up? Oh, Jason. Unfortunately, the chances of him waking up are slim. But miracles happen every day, so we wait. Um, if you have any more questions, just let me know. Oh, my baby. Oh, Jason. Oh, you're gonna be okay. Did you call Dad? I am going to go use the restroom quickly, okay, Sarah? Just, um, I'll be right back. Did you tell him? I mean, did you even bother to call Dad and tell him that his son was shot and is in a coma? He's catching the next flight out, Sarah. I'll be back. Hey, bro. Pretty sure you can hear me, right? I guess you wouldn't reply to that. Hey. You again, great. Hi. I'm Elisa. I'm sorry to keep showing up, but um, we need to talk. Yeah. So I'm dead. No, like I said, you're in the in-between. Great, that just makes it so much less complicated. So, uh, can I ask who you are? How did you get in here, the in-between? Just like you, in a coma somewhere. They found me lying in a ditch. Drunk driver. Not me. I got hit by one. Well, well how come you haven't got out yet? Believe me, I have wanted to and I've tried. It's just not my time, I guess. That doesn't seem fair. You help everyone else get out, but you can't get out yourself. I've gotten used to it. I've been here a couple of months, six, I think. Well, that doesn't seem too bad. How many people have you helped? 98. You could be my 99. 99 in six months? Where do these people go? I don't really know. Out, I guess. We're in between right now. Life and death. They go either way. I never know which one goes where. Sometimes people are here for a short amount of times. Some of them are just having a big surgery done. Some of them have ran a coma, like you and me. Some of them are here for just a couple minutes, just passing through. They, uh, they call me a traveler. One day I was crying. I'd been here maybe a week by myself and I was so confused on what was going on. There was no one there to tell me that I was in a coma, that this wasn't reality. The next morning I woke up and I was in a totally different town, different country, I think. And there was a book next to me. And it told me everything about this man, Carter Lewis. He, uh, he was in a coma. Next thing I knew, I was at his front door, and I told him. And then there was a light. He walked through it, and he was gone. After that, I kind of got the hang of it, realized what I was really here for. It's amazing 
I mean, it all is. The sad part is, when you wake up, you won't remember it. How do you know? I've done my research, I mean, <laughs> as a traveler, I travel around the world. No one that's ever woke up from a coma ever remembers what happens when they were asleep, right? This is all just an in-between stage. If you wake up, you won't remember, and if you die, I mean, <laughs> who knows? It's perfect in here. It gets old, believe me. Everything going your way all the time. Doesn't mean it's not nice. You're kind of lucky you don't have to go back. The real world's a mess. Sometimes being a mess is what's best. Perfect? It's never really perfect. Well, come on, let's make a mess then. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you did not just throw dirt at me. Come on. Water's nice. It's not, it's gotta be freezing. Oh, come on. <laughs>